I've been fishing since I was like 12 years old. I go fishing uh, six days a week. I usually catch between 100 and 180 pounds of jacks and barracuda. I feed the pelicans also. They can recognize my boat a mile away. Small-scale fisheries are incredibly important around the world, yet it's an area that we actually don't know very much about. We don't know how much they're catching. We don't know where their fish is actually ending up. If you're going out every day, one fisher catching 20 pounds of fish, 50 pounds of fish, that's a small impact. But if you add up all of those fishers going out every day across a coastal community, across scores, hundreds of coastal communities, and then you multiply that around the world, that's actually a huge impact. That's a globally important force extracting marine life, and we're not doing a good enough job of really understanding that. Belize in the 1920s had one of the largest Nassau grouper fishery in the region. I have personally seen that fishery gone to the point where it's not commercially viable in my country. I have seen the need to ensure sustainability. Collecting information on these fisheries is a real challenge. These communities are very remote, they're spread out, they might be difficult to get to, and there's only a few fishers in each one of them. One fisher selling to one restaurant multiplied thousands of times globally makes each transaction small and hard to track, but those fishers and their communities rely on income from fishing. Any fisheries management, such as seasonal closures or designated protected areas or limiting gears will affect their fishing activity and therefore their income. In the short term, things may be harder before production rebounds. So if you want people to adopt these changes, we have to do all we can to make sure they'll provide real benefits back to fishing communities. We can't rely on estimates and guesses when livelihoods are on the line. If you are basing your management interventions on just a piece of the picture, it is not adequate to ensure sustainability at the end of the day. We live on this little small island and we depend on fishing. The fishermen get up early in the morning and supply them with the fuel I supply them with their ice. I give them their hooks, their lines, their sinkers. When they come back in with the product, I figure their product up, I weigh their fish, I discount what they took, their fuel, their hooks, their sinkers, their lines, and then I pay them what's coming from them. We find all over the world that buyers are really, really good at collecting this kind of information. And the challenge that we were trying to solve is how do we take that wealth of information that's already being collected and how do we make it useful? We've developed an app called Our Fish that solves this problem. It's mainly icons and pictures. It's customizable for the different buyers. It's very, very easy to deploy. Fishers and fish buyers have supercomputers in their pockets. They all have cell phones. We can leverage access to technology to collect up, analyze, and share this information. We've been testing this system, building it and developing it with fisheries, with fishers, with fish buyers, to ensure that this system doesn't create a burden for buyers by providing an easy to use tool for accounting and business analytics. If I had the app, I'm sure that I can do things faster than just using the pen. When you have something like this, 
that's giving you an opportunity to collect the information and to collect it in a fashion that you can manage it within your existing institutions. It's exciting. It's like tailoring something to the needs of small developing country one and to the needs of small scale fisheries. Before the fish is going out, they've got their fisher registration card. On the back of the card is a QR code, like a barcode. The app can scan that and that loads the fisher details into the app. And I say, oh, you need some diesel. I press the diesel icon, put in the number of liters and the price, and that's coming off as a negative. When they come in to sell their fish, I scan them back in, press the fish icon, and then can load exactly what I'm buying from them. And now we're also working to get tracking devices on boats of all the different fisheries. So we can tie that information together and we get the who, the what, and the where. It's a tool that they can use for their own personal accounting purposes, but then it's a tool that very easily now transmit that information to the fisheries department on what is being caught, what is being bought. Well, fishers interested in his catch and how that's changing over time. A buyer may be interested in production data for all of the fishers. How is their business doing? A management organization for an, an area is interested in all of the fisheries, and the national government is interested at the national level. How are all of our fisheries doing? We keep burdening fishermen with all these questions, these forms, these log books. You're really cutting into their time that they take either to, to catch fish or to carry out business. And so it is something that has streamlined all of that and put it in a little app that we could now access and provide the fisheries department with the information it needs and allow the fishers and the vendors to feel that they are now a part of a management regime. Each layer from Fisher all the way up to global management organizations have the information relevant to them at their scale. The information then becomes really powerful. It's encouraging a co-responsibility among all the stakeholders that depend on this resource. Being able to have this kind of information across countries, across the world, will be able to really drill down into what is our impact on the marine environment. How do we limit that impact, but also sustain the fisheries that are so important to the coastal communities? And this is the first step of being able to solve a global challenge. This solution isn't just appropriate for Honduras or Belize. It's actually appropriate for small-scale fisheries around the world. <laughs>